That's not too bad. Huh? <laughs> one for one. <laughs> Are we two for two? Hey! You don't need to disconnect that, right? You just playing with stuff now? I was. Just because I was twisting, you felt yeah, like you I, should I twist. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do with that thing, Matt? Yeah. Hmm? Our drink's cold. What's up everybody? Hey, we're back day two of our, I guess, demolition portion of our fish retailing area on construction. I wanna show you kind of where we're at, uh, see what the boys are up to, all right? The area that I know, we gotta move this from there to there, and as challenging as that seems, all I'm glad is we're not moving it into somebody's house. Like, we've gotta move it 20 to 30 feet over there. I know Chris is super confident with just coming in with a forklift and grabbing it, but the problem with this plexiglass stuff, if it shifts or twists at all, it's gonna end up breaking the seal on this. And if we break the seal on this, then this will no longer hold any water. So I think the best plan, Chris to come in here with the forklift, grab it from here, the steel frame will definitely hold it all and then just gingerly move it over to there. This is not the <laughs> eh? gingerly, <laughs> you too. Eh? This is not the permanent home for this guy. In fact, any of you that want this tank, comment down below and we'll see if we can uh, negotiate some kind of price. But we are gonna build this Asian water monitor, a permanent new home back over there, utilizing some of these trees, the fake rocks, give them uh, a um, acceptable pond this is not a pond acceptable or exceptional um unbelievable mm. pond this is not big enough for something that's going to be eight feet long right this is more like me playing around in a upside down frisbee so i can't wait to build him something that's more appropriate acceptable appropriate unbelievable home for this guy but before we do that we just got to get this out of our way right here is where new um fish retailing systems and stuff are going so we got to get this thing out of here you guys ready let's move this chris that means you get it on the forklift mm -hmm. while i gin Gingerly, <laughs> move it. You can't say that. All right, here we go. So Chris does everything with an enormous amount of confidence, which is his quality and his downfall. <laughs> I suggested draining all the water. Chris said, no, no, this is easy, we got this. I suggested moving the top. Chris said, no, no, this is easy, we got this. I suggested moving the stuff from underneath, making it just a touch lighter. But Chris said, no, we got this. So let's see if uh, Chris has got it. What's the worst that could happen? The whole thing breaks and then we have to uh, figure out some kind of new enclosure for a five foot long lizard. Would you guys like to see the expression of an extremely confident man? <laughs> oh my God. He's already hitting the wood. Oh! All that water is gonna go everywhere. He definitely uh, seems curious to what's going on. Well, every now and then I'm wrong. It still would have been safer to do it the other way. Chris just saved us probably about a half an hour to 45 minutes worth of work. Way to go, Chris. down to the last step of demolition here inside our retail store to get it to that blank canvas that we were hoping to get to. The last thing standing behind me is our turtle pond. The plan for this is we are going to first rehome our turtles in a temporary enclosure. Goldfish are gonna go live with Woody, our alligator snapping turtle, and then any koi and maybe the placostomus are gonna go inside our retail store back behind me and go live in the ecosystem ponds we have inside of our retail store.
Our shirt should say, Pond's done right, turtles served right. After what we're doing here. We're gonna start with the baby turtles, get them into this little blue holding tub, and then we are going to move this, which is what we moved from up front, and set up our collapsible tank in this area. And we are going to hang our heat lamps from underneath here. We'll set up a bio falls, one of our aquaforce pumps to circulate the water. And it's gonna be a nice little home for them, temporarily speaking, to where it's not a sterile environment. We wanna set up that ecosystem so that these things are living comfortably, albeit it's not pretty, but it's going to be functional for now until we can get them in their forever home back up in the retail store. For those of you out there that aren't familiar with the Biofalls, this is a 2500 series Biofalls. It's able to handle that amount of water for filtration, but we do have bio balls in here. We've got about eight or nine, I think, boxes of it, um, which is more than enough. That's that biological filtration media for that um, beneficial bacteria and the enzymes to colonize on to really establish that ecosystem. There's also some filter pads down inside there, which will also do what, Matt? Filter. <laughs> exactly. So again, it's just more filter media. Uh, we put it on top of a large aqua block just to help raise it up. Um, the water will be pumped up through the bottom of that biofalls, upflow through there, and then filter back down. And then the turtles will actually be able to hide in that uh, large aqua block that it's sitting on top of. So not bad for some repurposed materials. And now we are going to head back up to the front, get that water drained down in the turtle pond, bring it back here so we can bring that home water in so that those turtles are nice and happy when they go back into their temporary home. And then we'll start rehoming them at that point. All right, so here we are. We are going to start draining the water in this turtle pond, getting it into a temporary blue tank, which Matt is standing by with. And then that's where those turtles are going to be housed. So we're going to take this water that's in this about 250 gallon tub and put it into that 500 gallon enclosure that we have back and back. You can see Micho is getting ready to do that. Once we get some of this water out of here, we're going to start trapping those turtles and getting them back into their temporary home. All right guys, so as you can see behind me, we have the last of the turtles going in. Might not be pretty, but it's gonna function for what we need it to and the turtles are gonna absolutely love their new home, their new temporary home, until we get their big bad mansion up and running. Matt put some nice little landing areas right there so they can get up and warm up in the basking area right over there. So there we go, all the turtles have made it to their new home and we are about to start tearing down the old one. So as you can see, we have the pond almost completely drained. We have all the fish, all the turtles out. They are in their respective homes. Now it's time to start tearing this thing apart. But what do you got there? You got some containers? We're gonna fill those things today? Yeah. Nice. And we've got Micho on the excavator. We're gonna use that. He can't just use these big pythons to lift those rocks. So we got a little bit of extra muscle. We got Matt over here. And then we got the other Matt with some more containers. You guys ready to roll? Let's do it. All right, let go. can see behind me we are making incredible progress we have 90% of the big rocks out of here a majority of the gravel all the small rock is out we are just gonna finish getting the rest of this gravel out of here and then we'll disconnect the liner from the biofall start peeling everything back getting a mountain of gravel in here get that cleaned out get the rest of this drained get that big rock out there that big rock out there we're gonna pull the trees out and then basically just start moving sand we're making very very quick work of this actually a lot faster than I thought we were going to which is always a bonus here when we're trying to get stuff done this time of year awesome awesome progress this is gonna be exciting.
guys, that is a wrap. We have completed this leg of the journey when it comes to creating our one of a kind fish retailing experience. You can see myself and the guys have gotten this back down to a blank canvas so that as Brian's designing this space, he has complete creative freedom and really will come up with a unique one of a kind world-class design to really pull off that unique fish retailing experience. Remember, this isn't just gonna be a place where customers can come in and buy fish. This is gonna be a place where they can actually experience what Aquascape has to offer. So it's going to be a complete extension of what's going on in the rest of Aqualand in here. I cannot wait to start the next leg of this journey, but I hope you guys enjoyed this so much that you wanna go along for the ride with me. Until then, we'll see you next time.